We do have good news tonight about the deputy who was shot during all of this. He was flown to Oklahoma City. News 4's Amaya Ward has been at OU Medical Center, Center for much of the day. Emotions are very high right now. It was bumper to bumper with tons of law enforcement agencies from across the state here to offer their support for Deputy Sean Stedman. This was actually the scene when Deputy Stedman first arrived at the hospital. You can see him being wheeled inside. It was just a few hours ago when they took him in the emergency room. There's a feeling of uncertainty and several law enforcement agencies have been coming and going all afternoon. Right now, we have been told Deputy Stedman is in good condition and is expecting expected to make a full recovery. We know that OSBI is taking over this investigation, so we are hoping to get more information from them here shortly. In Oklahoma City, Amaya Ward, Oklahoma's News 4. Here's another look at the suspected shooter, Cameron Jenkins. He has a lengthy criminal history and he just got out of prison in March of this year for maiming. If you spot him, call 911 immediately.